let me introduce the cheapest and coolest brushless quadcopter. The Bugs 3 from MJX is a drone I've been very impatient to try, as it promises a lot. I want to share every moment unpacking this quadcopter with you. So here is the unboxing and first impression. The box it comes in has a pretty nice design and even some useful information on it, including a list with all the accessories you can buy separately. It seems you can get a 360 panoramic camera, which is something I don't see a lot these days, a Wi-Fi FPV camera and even two FPV monitors with different sizes, which hints that this quad can also be used for racing, since it has brushless motors and a pair of FPV goggles, as the last item on the list. When it comes to size, it's 31cm from motor to motor measured diagonally, which makes it medium sized. It comes with a slot for an action camera like a GoPro, Xiaomi and others, which we'll test another time. Inside the box there is a polystyrene case used for protection, which I think I'll use for storage from now on. All the parts are individually wrapped in plastic bags, including the motors. Removing these makes me feel like a kid for Christmas, which by the way comes in just a few days. A first impression of the drone in my hands leaves a feeling of quality and sturdiness, and the 1800 motors don't look too shabby either. The drone arms are probably the toughest part of it all, and the frame looks pretty solid. It also comes with a 7.4V battery charger that looks way better than a standard cheap USB one. It comes with a camera mount in the package that mounts pretty easily and is very stable, although there is no shock absorption or gimbal. There are 4 prop guards in the package, probably best to use if you're a beginner or just want to play it safe. It also comes with some nice stickers and an instruction manual that is actually useful, unlike many out there. Besides the standard propellers, there's also four more spare ones that can be attached by spinning on the motor slots. Just make sure you get the propellers on the right spot. You can tell where by checking the letter A or B next to the motor and match it with the respective prop. It also comes in the package with a screwdriver that you can use to mount the screws for different accessories and also a motor replacement key. There are four landing gear arms that can be mounted to get a higher profile on the drone, so the camera mount has enough space. Finally, the controller is white and looks pretty boring. It has an ok quality but nothing out of the ordinary or professional here. It comes with no fake buttons and a neck strap slot, so it can't be that bad. Also requires four AA batteries to work, and before flying, you need to install the thumbsticks in place and fix them with the respective screws. I'll be going into more details about the bottoms themselves and their roles in the review and flight video you can find on the screen right now. I think I forgot to talk about the 7.4V 1800mAh battery it comes with. There's a slot on the drone where it fits just perfectly and can be safely linked to the drone through an XT30 connector, which in turn will start the drone and the lights with it, as there is no on and off button. Overall, for a first impression, the drone takes a very good spot in my top list and there's really no obvious quality issues I can talk about, especially for this price. The Bugs 3 might become my first recommendation for a great cheap brushless quadcopter but you really should check out my complete review here, so you can see how it flies and more. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Come on, click the link, I'm sure you want to know more about it.